Hello, and welcome to How to Build a Virtual Empire of Recurring Customers for Passive Income ebook series. In these four modules, you will discover all the techniques for generating lists that will help you grow and establish your web business. The first module covers the basics for generating leads. So without further ado, let's get started. Generating leads is a major component of systems designed to deliver passive incomes effectively. Passive income is a simply a slow and steady stream based on lead generation. Creating leads can be done in a variety of ways, which we'll cover in some detail over the course of this module. The first method is by writing a squeeze page. Squeeze pages are websites designed to squeeze customers into supplying their email addresses by offering something that they cannot do without. The act of making the choice is the squeeze. Once you have the email address, you now have a way to target your promotions to new and potential customers. What is the anatomy of a great squeeze page? There are a lot of methods even for this process, but the HSBC approach or headline, sub subheadline, benefits and call to action is a simple and useful method for getting the most out of your lead building sites. The headline is important and should grab your attention. Red headlines often work, but they shouldn't be abrasive or difficult on the eyes. There are no hard or fast rules, and it really does depend on the type of promotion or hook you are offering to a potential customer. The subheadline supports the headline statement and should be pertinent to the deal being offered or that statement to help propel the user down the page. Benefits are simply the reasons why a user would want to give you their email. A lot of times, this comes in the form of free gifts. Free offers of any sort can be very effective. Finally, the call to action is a proposition made to the potential customer to get them to actually opt in, along with a clear and easy way for them to do this. The overarching way, goal, of a squeeze page is to keep a person reading and have them submit their email. The opt-in portion of the page should be a simple form. Remember that you don't need every intimate detail of your potential customer up front, unless they are going to actually purchase a product. People are very wary these days of providing information on the internet, so instill confidence with assurance that their email will be treated in strict confidence and tell them that you are going to use the email to notify them about future promotions. Be honest with your visitors and establish trust early on. They are people after all and will respond much better to your future promotions. Just grab their name and email address. That's all you need to make first contact. I cannot overstate the importance of a clear and simple squeeze page. You don't want a lot of links leading outside the site. You want their attention on the matter at hand. Getting the visitor to opt in for the list. The call to action should be clear and telling. The content of the site should appeal to the visitor emotionally and psychologically. The visitor should not have to think too much. You want to guide them directly through the page and to the opt-in form so they can quickly make a decision. You can try graphics, you can try videos, but ab above all, it must look clean and professional no matter what you do. The squeeze page should not be a long and involved sales pitch. Keep it to one page. Summarize the benefits of the offer and convince them that they can't live without the giveaway or the free product. Autoresponders are a great way to continue building on the leads you generate. They work essentially by automating functions like sending emails, videos, or linking up content via social websites, along with metrics for seeing how well that campaign is going. Follow-up emails are a critical part when generating and maintaining leads. The whole point of list building is to use that list to target future promotion. With a quality autoresponder software solution in place, this laborious and time-intensive task is done automatically and painlessly. GetResponse is one of the several packages out there that can carry out this function for you. The main feature of all autoresponders is building those all-important relationships with subscribers. Education, welcoming, and information about products or campaigns are handled effortlessly with these programs to help drive customers back to your websites. 
So you managed to get visitors to your site, to read through your squeeze page, and they even managed to sign up to your list. Congratulations! Not all visitors will participate, but it's a numbers game. Show your subscribers that you care by offering a nice thank you page. After all, they, friends, and acquaintances are going to be the key to providing that passive income. Don't neglect this important aspect of lead generation. Another way to show your thanks is to send emails that serve this purpose too. Through this, can usually be handled via the autoresponder. It doesn't hurt to provide extra confidence and gratitude for your subscribers. They are the heart of your campaigns online and should be treated as such. As a rule to keep them brief, to the point without a lot of thrills, they've already subscribed, so it's important that you don't do anything to alienate them. Thank you pages can also serve as a good place to conveniently place a link to the product you are selling within the niche. This is a good opportunity to acquire an instant sale base on the content of the squeeze page. Another good technique is to add in scripts that will ask visitors to tell friends about the page and also surveys. Surveys will help you assess how well visitors are responding to the content of the squeeze page so you can make changes. This was touched on briefly before, but critical to establishing a good rapport and also to coerce visitors to your website, to opt in for your list is to offer some sort of incentive. Free gifts work remarkably well. People will endure a lot if they can get something free out of the deal especially if it's just an exchange for their email. Compelling people to opt in to a list or purchase a product can be done in several ways. One-time offers are great ways to convince people. Promoting exclusivity makes people feel like they are missing out if they don't opt in. Raising the price of products or telling visitors that this is a limited time offer helps to invigorate visitors to respond. Before the price rises again, people will often be compelled to participate. What kind of freebies or incentives can you offer? You can offer ebooks. This works especially well if you are building a list about a topic or subject that you have expertise in or is part of your niche. People will want to learn from you if they perceive you as an expert or knowledgeable about a topic. Reports are another incentive, which are often shorter than ebooks. They can actually be shorter ebooks or about original research relative to a niche. Free membership to the actual site that is building the list or to other sites, is another useful method for driving prospective customers to opt in. Such as with raising prices on products, making discounts available to list members is a special and exclusive offer. This works really well if you are driving them to a niche you're already in with the product. Free software can be used as well. The days of offering simple newsletters or e-signs on a weekly basis are mostly gone. You need to offer something that a visitor will perceive as having exceptional value to them in exchange for giving up their email. You are only limited by your creativity in this respect, but this should be enough to get those juices flowing. One of the easiest ways to get access to examples of squeeze pages is to visit an affiliate program like clickbank.com and select buy products and scroll through whatever vector is of interest to you or in a niche you are thinking about. You will see how hi highly organized and effective pages. There are also a lot of templates available online to help you craft that perfect squeeze page without a lot of hassle. And this is good if you're not that technically savvy. Some of the squeeze pages you will find on ClickBank or whatever affiliate site you choose are pretty sophisticated and require a lot of work. But if you stick to the principles in this module, you should do just fine. There are no real shortcuts to success here. Just focus on the core principles in this and other modules and you will find your own way through the noise and establish a sustainable and successful list building component of a web business. In this module, you learn techniques that will help you build an effective squeeze page. Squeeze pages are used for list building activities as they will lead to a source of passive income and a base for future customers that can be tapped for future promotions. Lists are crucial in any web business to tap for potential customers. By providing a coherent and good-looking squeeze page, you will attract these prospective customers to opt in to your list. By constructing a database of these visitors, 
you will be able to use it as a source for future marketing campaigns to sell products in your niche. Squeeze pages can be created with this in mind and can appeal to specific niches. And this can work very well if you're already running a campaign with a niche specific product. List generating is often a lead in to running a campaign, but the beauty of building lists is that they can be a source of all your future campaigns as a source to be tapped when you switch niches or products. If you target a niche too specifically, then that list may not be suited for a future campaign, so keep that in mind. One final tip is to include pictures, testimonials, and any other type of content that will help instill confidence in the visitors to your site. But keep it simple and don't overdo it. Confidence builds loyalty, which can lead to sales. Remember that visitors to your site and your subscription subscribership are the heart of your web business and one part of a successful venture in this arena. In this module, we will cover a variety of techniques to help build your subscribership for your lists. In the previous module, we discussed using a squeeze page to generate leads with which you can use to market products or target advertising campaigns. Being able to build a database of potential customers is crucial for establishing income for your web business. Topics covered in this article will we'll discuss how to put the word out to attract visitors to your sites or squeeze pages. Article marketing is an effective tool for spreading the word about your web business. In a nutshell, article marketing consists of writing short articles that are pertinent to the niche you are targeting and posting them online. These articles can be posted at a variety of websites catered for this purpose, such as Squidoo or Hub Pages. This technique has been used for about as long as media in print form has been around. Newspapers would grant space to businesses or companies who would write helpful articles and in return, the paper would publish their contact information. This arrangement benefited both the newspaper and the company offering to provide the articles. In today's world of web business, article marketing works in much the same way, except that it is free to publish articles and special sites exist for this purpose. Articles are not limited by the amount of space, either as any website, that allows you to publish your articles is practically limitless in terms of how many articles can be published and in what topic. People will use a search engine to find out information or look for products and then your article could appear. If it is in the appropriate niche, then this can cause the visitor to hit your site and maybe join your list if it looks good or the article is of high quality. Building credibility and influence is important in convincing visitors to opt in your lead list. Don't have time to write a bunch of targeted articles in your niche? No problem. There are plenty of resources online where you can hire people to do the writing for you for a nominal fee. Rates vary depending on the quality you desire, but this is a legitimate and widely used method for populating article hubs with content to help drive visitors to your promotions or products. Twitter is a hot social networking platform that is renowned for its 140 character limit for its post call tweets. How can you leverage Twitter to help build leads? Twitter requires some investment of time to accomplish this objective, as the nature of the network does not allow for first timers, as it were to just hop on and get instant access to a large pool of people. This is what takes time. You will have to create a pool of people that will follow you after you follow them. Hopefully, they will decide to follow you. Be creative. Depending on the niche you are targeting, it might be easier for, for, say, a hot young woman to get a lot of male followers, wouldn't you think? And if you are building a list for the purpose of a lead-in for a muscle building product campaign, for example, you get my point. Once you have a fair amount of followers, then you need to share information with them. Twitter is unique in that it isn't so much about the individual tweets that matter, as much as the impression that you can make gradually over time. Building up this impression will establish credibility for you and your business, and people will be more interested in checking out your links when you post them. There are a lot of tools to help making Twittering much more productive. A quick search online will lead you in the right direction to help manage your tweets and followers. That's right. Facebook is a juggernaut of the social networks 
far eclipsing MySpace in popularity with nearly half a billion users. You bet that Facebook can be a fertile ground for building leads. Leveraging Facebook should be high on your list of priorities for driving traffic for list building. How does this work? The beauty of Facebook are the fan pages and the groups that can be established. If the group is catchy or the fan page is popular, you can expect to see millions of followers for just one fan page or group. The quick and dirty method is finding a popular fan page. The more associated with your promotions, the better, though sometimes that isn't always possible. And simply posting links to your squeeze page, promotion page, whatever. The same can be done in groups by starting message threads and appealing to people to check out your articles, etc. Facebook also has a model for paid advertising, but more on that later. This section is all about the free techniques. If you are a credible persona, you can even create your own fan page and attract followers. Not everyone hides their contact information either, so that is another method by which you can extract emails and followers too. Utilizing SEO and blogging are the time-tested methods for building free lists. One of the most popular forms, it is yet again only one vector out of several you should experiment with to get the best results. SEO, or a search engine optimization, pertains to content on websites that helps build your rank on Google. Yes, there are other engines, but the most popular one is Google. Google uses a propriety algorithm to rank sites, but some helpful hints are keyword density. Keep it between 3 to 5% relevance, high quality links, and freshness of the content. This is where blogs come in. Blogs exist in practically any niche or genre under the sun. Most tightly optimized sites for driving quality traffic will include a blog built into the site so that you have a conduit that you can update that the crawler bots will react very nicely to. Besides that, you can make mention of plenty of promotional materials or links to the list building sites. It's all about the content when it comes to web business, and the better your content is, the higher ranked it will be, and the higher up you will appear on the SERPs. This means more traffic, which means bigger lists, better contacts, and a higher chance of converting when you boot up that next campaign. Easy, right? YouTube is a massive video sharing website with millions of users posting unique and other types of rich video content every day. This provides yet another way for eyes to get on promotions and sites that you run. It's almost the exact same thing as writing articles except that you make a video with some content. It doesn't even have to be fancy. All you need to do basically is take an article or a step-by-step -step sequence of telling someone how to do something or anything really. It all depends on your niche, promotion, or product. Make a simple video and release it into the wild. The video could just be text description on a plain background for example. The better the video looks though, the better it will probably hit and attract traffic. Don't forget to include pertinent information about your site or sites in the more information section. Social bookmarking is a method by which users on the internet can share references to materials and not just the references themselves. This means that people can join public sites that serve this function and create links to websites or a variety of materials. The bookmarks can then be tagged with illustrative keywords and this can drive traffic to the listing which has the end result of driving it to your list building, page, promotions, etc. The most famous social bookmarking site is probably Dig or Delicious. You commonly have seen these sites as small icons at the end of articles or other pages. By clicking on the link to the bookmarking page, you save a link of the content. If you were able to place a relevant site high on the list of a social bookmark site, you could stand to gain a ton of unique traffic. The goal here is to tag whatever content you have created related to your web presence on every social bookmark site out there. Encourage people to add your sites to social bookmark listings. And finally, network on the social bookmark sites with others to help cross-promote sites. Due to the amount of social bookmarking sites that exist, there are tools to help you consolidate this process across them all, which can be easily found. Ad swaps are one of the simplest techniques for driving traffic to your site. The concept is simply you agree to swap ads with another website via the webmaster. 
This works best if you are in the same niche. A successful ad swap is governed by a few rules of thumb. Firstly, ad swaps work the best if the two sites have equivalent traffic or exposure. This can extend to email lists too, which is why it is in this module. Secondly, fair ad placement. You and the person you are swapping ads with should agree on where the ad ought to be placed, and that is fair for both sides. Expect to use similar ad formats. Thirdly, relevancy is key. Swaps should probably occur in the same niche. Trades can occur when sites are not in the same niche, but the ad itself must remain relevant somehow. And finally, do not conflict with competitors in the same niche. Through joint promotion activity, is possible in some cases, networking plays a definite role when it comes to ad swaps as long as you and the potential partner will benefit each other, so keep that in mind. Giveaway events are promotions where a product is offered in exchange for visitors joining your list. You need to have the general infrastructure in place to enable this technique such as a blog, a squeeze page, and an autoresponder to take advantage of contributing to a giveaway event. That's right, you can contribute besides just running your own. This is a quick way to build subscribers. The most important aspect of giveaway events is the gift itself. This usually takes the form of an ebook. You want ebooks with MRR, which stands for Master Resale Rights, which means you can use it as a gift. PLR, or private label rights, can also work. For your first time, it's probably the best idea to find a pre existing product, such as an ebook with MRR or PLR, but for future promotions, as you learn more, you can try to find products on your own or even create them yourself if you are truly savvy. In this module, we will cover the basic techniques and ideas behind paid list building. In the last module, we covered most of the accepted ways by which you can generate free traffic. However, if you have money, you can certainly just purchase traffic to help build a subscribership to your list. We will cover the most popular ways to do this effectively so that your dollars are always spent wisely. PPC or pay-per-click is by far one of the most popular and effective ways to purchase traffic for your lists. It's not always easy and will take some trial and error in the beginning. In this section, we will go over the best methods to actualize PPC campaigns. PPC is really closer to an art than a science, which means it's easy to do, but hard to master. PPC can effectively build lists by basically purchasing the traffic. How does this work? Depending on your niche, you need to settle on keywords that you think relate to it. Choosing a good subset of keywords is crucial. Once you have decided on the keywords, go to Google AdWords and set up some ads. When someone types in keywords that you have chosen your ad along with the link to your squeeze page, it will pop up next to the search engine result pages, SCRPs. The better you choose keywords, the more targeted traffic you can drive to your page. Make sure your squeeze page is set up and optimized and your infrastructure is in place. That's pretty much all there is to it. A good squeeze page, along with a set of keywords that are relevant to your niche, are keys to a successful list building campaign. This costs money, but it is a pretty simple way to drive traffic. You will find, after experimentation with keyword lists, that some will work better than others. This is also akin to an art too. Creativity can play a big role in how well you can get visitors to your squeeze page and on that important list. Since you are paying money for this technique, it is best to utilize some sort of metrics to see how well your ads are driving traffic. There are plenty of packages out there and a simple search will help you set up. Running a Facebook ad campaign is very similar to PPC. The gist here is that you are paying for some ad space on Facebook, the world's most popular social networking site, with the hopes of driving those who click on them to hit your squeeze page and hopefully your list. Facebook, in a lot of cases, is even better than PPC because you can target your ads to specific demographics and a ton of other attributes with surgical precision. This is especially useful if you are generating a list for specific niches. On Facebook, all it takes is a click or two to target your ads to an age group, location, country, 
state or whatever really. The ability to target ads carries with it huge potential. Where it differs slightly is that on Facebook, you can run two types of ads, which have different costs associated with them. The first is CPC or CPM, cost per click or cost per thousand impressions. In most cases, you will probably want to do a CPC campaign. A CPM campaign with just a link will probably run your ad budget out very quickly and is more suited for displaying phone numbers, for example. Another nice feature is the ability to track how well your ads are performing within Facebook as that functionality is all built in. Finally, you need to create an ad. Facebook allows the use of images and text for the ad copy, so be creative and make sure that the ad you use is supported by the website visitors who will be taken upon clicking to it. This goes for pretty much any form of paid campaign. Again, in any paid advertising campaign, it is crucial that you monitor the success at all times. Another way in Facebook to drive traffic for your list building purposes is to sponsor groups where you can pay as a sponsor and display relevant ad copy on message boards and build a following. Advertising in eZymes is an old and still popular method for generating traffic and hopefully leads. The way it works is by paying to a place an ad for your campaign or niche in an internet newsletter which goes out to a base of subscribers already. Some have been around for a long time and others are new. The key thing to note about this technique is that to make your dollars count the, the most, you need to do some research and figure out which e would best suit your targeted niche. Obviously, readers of a hunting magazine would not be interested in your offer for faux fur clothing. There are some blanket services that will submit your ads to a ton of e-zines online. But again, it pays to know how long the e-zines in question have existed and how big their subscriber base actually is. Keep in mind that most people need to see an ad around seven times before they will act on it, according to studies conducted on behavior when it comes to marketing. This means that placing your ad multiple times, even if it is the same ad copy, may be to your benefit. Co-registration leads, or co-regs, as they are popularly called, basically providing the option to people who have, for example, downloaded some software to receive more information about products or services. This usually takes the form of checking a box so you're subscribed to a list. For the purposes of generation, generating traffic, co-regs can take many forms. One way is to offer a visitor the option to sign up for lists as part of a promotion for another product. This can take the form, after receiving a free gift to be offered, the option to sign up for a list. Or after entering into an online contest or some sort of free drawing, the visitor is offered to join the list. I think you get the idea here. You can see how a coreg can occur with a giveaway or other type of event to have visitors opt in for a subscription to the list. Be wary of brokers offering coreg lists. It may seem like a possible shortcut but in reality, you don't know how old those lists are. And the older the coreg lists are, the more disastrous it can be for your list building activity. You'll end up spending money and getting a worthless list when you could have just as easily put in the effort and generating some leads on your own with the same expenditure. Also, you have to be wary of these brokered lists because sometimes users have opted in on those lists and have done so inadvertently or via malware which can be potentially liable, liable for you and your business. The last thing you want to do is be the 50th person to hit a person on a list after they've already been pinged before. It's a waste of time and resources for you following up on leads that's old bottom line. So that's a rundown of the key ways to pay a little upfront to drive traffic to the site. As you can see, there are plenty of techniques that will certainly keep you busy as you learn how to grow your list building skills. When we say drive traffic to a site, we are usually referring to a squeeze page that you use to generate lists. The importance of the squeeze page cannot be overstated here, regardless of which approach you use. Pictures on the squeeze page help a lot. Anything to instill confidence in the visitor to the page will increase the chances of having that person opt in. A good sales pitch 
and a call to action are just as important. This was covered in previous modules, but it is being restated because it is so vital to building lists. You can drive all the traffic you want, but without a clear and optimized squeeze page, you will not get visitors to join the list in droves, which is the goal. Paid campaigns can turn into a lucrative list building opportunity, but keep in mind that without a clear goal in mind and a clearly defined squeeze page, your money may go to waste without the benefit of adding a great deal of users. It becomes apparent that for the uninitiated, it is often best to try the free list building techniques first before delving into the paid world so that you understand the flow of visitors and how those visitors result in sales. With the infrastructure in place, along with ways to reach out and feed promotions to, lead to you, lead list, it is much less riskier to start paying for traffic to hit your squeeze page. Without these ingredients, you will find yourself not hitting your goals and conversion rates. In this module, we will cover the basic techniques and ideas behind paid list building. In the last module, we covered most of the accepted ways by which you can generate free traffic. However, if you have money, you can certainly just purchase traffic to help build a subscribership to your list. We will cover the most popular ways to do this effectively so that your dollars are always spent wisely. PPC or pay-per-click is by far one of the most popular and effective ways to purchase traffic for your lists. It's not always easy and will take some trial and error in the beginning. In this section, we will go over the best methods to actualize PPC campaigns. PPC is really closer to an art than a science, which means it's easy to do but hard to master. PPC can effectively build lists by basically purchasing the traffic. How does this work? Depending on your niche, you need to settle on keywords that you think relate to it. Choosing a good subset of keywords is crucial. Once you have decided on the keywords, go to Google AdWords and set up some ads. When someone types in keywords that you have chosen your ad along with the link to your squeeze page, it will pop up next to the search engine results pages, SERPs. The better you choose keywords, the more targeted traffic you can drive to your page. Make sure your squeeze page is set up and optimized and your infrastructure is in place. That's pretty much all there is to it. A good squeeze page, along with a set of keywords that are relevant to your niche, are keys to a successful list building campaign. This costs money, but it is a pretty simple way to drive traffic. You will find, after experimentation with keyword lists, that some will work better than others. This is also akin to an art too. Creativity can play a big role in how well you can get visitors to your squeeze page and on that important list. Since you are paying money for this technique, it is best to utilize some sort of metrics to see how well your ads are driving traffic. There are plenty of packages out there and a simple search will help you set up. Running a Facebook ad campaign is very similar to PPC. The gist here is that you are paying for some ad space on Facebook, the world's most popular social networking site, with the hopes of driving those who click on them to hit your squeeze page and hopefully your list. Facebook, in a lot of cases, is even better than PPC because you can target your ads to specific demographics and a ton of other attributes with surgical precision. This is especially useful if you are generating a list for specific niches. On Facebook, all it takes is a click or two to target your ads to an age group, location, country, state, or whatever really. The ability to target ads carries with it huge potential. Where it differs slightly is that on Facebook, you can run two types of ads, which have different costs associated with them. The first is CPC or CPM, cost per click or cost per thousand impressions. In most cases, you will probably want to do a CPC campaign. A CPM campaign with just a link will probably run your ad budget out very quickly and is more suited for displaying phone numbers, for example. Another nice feature is the ability to track how well your ads are performing within Facebook as that functionality is all built in. Finally, you need to create an ad. Facebook allows the use of images and text for the ad copy 
So be creative and make sure that the ad you use is supported by the website visitors who will be taken upon clicking to it. This goes for pretty much any form of paid campaign. Again, in any paid advertising campaign, it is crucial that you monitor the success at all times. Another way in Facebook to drive traffic for your list building purposes is to sponsor groups where you can pay as a sponsor and display relevant ad copy on message boards and build a following. Advertising in eZines is an old and still popular method for generating traffic and hopefully leads. The way it works is by paying to a place an ad for your campaign or niche in an internet newsletter which goes out to a base of subscribers already. Some have been around for a long time and others are new. The key thing to note about this technique is that to make your dollars count the, the most, you need to do some research and figure out which e-signs would best suit your targeted niche. Obviously, readers of a hunting magazine would not be interested in your offer for faux fur clothing. There are some blanket services that will submit your ads to a ton of e-signs online. But again, it pays to know how long the e-signs in question have existed and how big their subscriber base actually is. Keep in mind that most people need to see an ad around seven times before they will act on it, according to studies conducted on behavior when it comes to marketing. This means that placing your ad multiple times, even if it is the same ad copy, may be to your benefit. Co-registration leads, or co-regs as they are popularly called, basically providing the option to people who have, for example, downloaded some software to receive more information about products or services. This usually takes the form of checking a box so you're subscribed to a list. For the purposes of generation, generating traffic co-regs can take many forms. One way is to offer a visitor the option to sign up for lists as part of a promotion for another product. This can take the form, after receiving a free gift to be offered, the option to sign up for a list. Or after entering into an online contest or some sort of free drawing, the visitor is offered to join the list. I think you get the idea here. You can see how a coreg can occur with a giveaway or other type of event to have visitors opt in for a subscription to the list. Be wary of brokers offering coreg lists. It may seem like a possible shortcut, but in reality, you don't know how old those lists are. And the older the coreg lists are, the more disastrous it can be for your list building activity. You'll end up spending money and getting a worthless list when you could have just as easily put in the effort and generating some leads on your own with the same expenditure. Also, you have to be wary of these brokered lists because sometimes users have opted in on those lists and have done so inadvertently or via malware which can be potentially liable, liable for you and your business. The last thing you want to do is be the 50th person to hit a person on a list after they've already been pinged before. It's a waste of time and resources for you following up on leads that's old bottom line. So that's a rundown of the key ways to pay a little upfront to drive traffic to the site. As you can see, there are plenty of techniques that will certainly keep you busy as you learn how to grow your list building skills. When we say drive traffic to a site, we are usually referring to a squeeze page that you use to generate lists. The importance of the squeeze page cannot be overstated here, regardless of which approach you use. Pictures on the squeeze page help a lot. Anything to instill confidence in the visitor to the page will increase the chances of having that person opt in. A good sales pitch and a call to action are just as important. This was covered in previous modules, but it is being restated because it is so vital to building lists. You can drive all the traffic you want, but without a clear and optimized squeeze page, you will not get visitors to join the list in droves, which is the goal. Paid campaigns can turn into a lucrative list building opportunity, but keep in mind that without a clear goal in mind and a clearly defined squeeze page, your money may go to waste without the benefit of adding a great deal of users. It becomes apparent that for the uninitiated, it is often best to try the free list building techniques first before delving into the paid world so that you understand the flow of visitors and how those visitors result in sales. With the infrastructure in place, 
along with ways to reach out and feed promotions to, lead to you lead list, it is much less riskier to start paying for traffic to hit your squeeze page. Without these ingredients, you will find yourself not hitting your goals and conversion rates.